Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alyssa and I'm so thankful you are here for the first ever side hustle snapshot video working on the name. Um, I would appreciate some feedback on that in the comment section below. If you've been a subscriber to my YouTube channel for some time, you know that I am kind of addicted to making money and I have quite a few side hustles that I have been marinating behind the scenes. And I'm excited to start this series to show you exactly how much I actually make weekly with these side hustles. And maybe it's something that you can do too, to make extra money on the side. If you didn't know, I have over 200 thousand dollars in student loan debt yes a whopping two hundred thousand dollars so someone's got to pay that off and it's probably gonna be me it's not gonna be the government let's be real I have been hustling and hustling to try to save money I've been putting all of the money into a savings account and then once payments start back due I'm gonna make a mass payment to my smaller loan and then start taking down the big loan transparency is key here on my YouTube YouTube channel so I'm going to give you all of the numbers all of the screenshots and if you have questions or think I can do a better job at doing something please be as descriptive as possible in the comment section below this is the first video so it's gonna be a work in progress these may come out just a couple weeks after the week has happened as I gather all of the data and all of the numbers but let's jump into the first week that I actually started tracking these numbers so the first week was August 15th which was a Monday through August 21st which is a Sunday Sunday. I do that because I side hustle. One of them is DoorDash and they do it from Monday to Sunday. So it's just easy for me to keep track. So we're going to start with the least amount made and then work our way up to the most made in which category. So the three kind of areas I've been making money in August has been with Amazon through door dashing and then donating plasma. Yes, indeed. And if you are in the Seattle area or really the Pacific Northwest, and I actually think anywhere in the US, you can also donate where I donate, which is CSL Labs. There is a referral link in the description below. If you wanna check it out, it's super easy. It did take about three hours on the first go around. For what I made, it's really not that bad. So for Amazon, I made $0. I did not send anything into Amazon this week because I was just busy and honestly kind of a little bit lazy too. So it was a whopping $0 that I made on Amazon. Now, how Amazon is calculated and how I'm calculating it for the purpose of these videos is actually by the profit that I send in. So I use Inventory Lab to calculate all of this. Know that it kind of fluctuates depending on what how the prices fluctuate on Amazon. And if you sell on Amazon, you know that it changes all of the time. So in the next video that I post, I will have made money on Amazon and I'll go a little bit deeper into those numbers. But for the purpose of this video, it's zero dollars. Now, the second place I made money is through donating plasma. So my first time I actually made $125 and it got immediately uploaded onto my card. Like I said, it took about three hours. So if you divide the three by 125, you actually get about $41, $42 an hour. So that that's not bad for my time. With door dashing, I average about $22. And for this week, I actually made $145 through door dashing across about seven and a half hours, which is $20.75. So total paid into my bank account this month was the $125 from the plasma donations plus the $145 and a quarter I made from door dashing. That equals $270 and 25 cents right into my checking account. Now, all of that actually went to credit card debt. So I'm not going to my student loans at this point in time, but you get the point. I made about $270 this week. Now that does not include taxes, gas, car maintenance, deduction of miles. That is just the number that was paid out into my bank account. I do put 30% aside for taxes, maintenance, and everything like that. We don't have income tax here in Washington, which is super nice. So I'm not saving for income tax. I'm just saving for federal taxes and self-employment tax as well. I've been trying to find a CPA to really help me with all of this stuff in terms of filing taxes quarterly, especially for my Amazon account, because that is an actual business. I have a business license. 
license, but it's been really difficult and I don't really wanna pay thousands of dollars for somebody to help me. I just need the basic setup and I can do it from there. So I hope this video was helpful, short, sweet, to the point, but it gives you a little bit of insight of how much money I do make with my side hustles and stay tuned next week and for future videos for how I am doing with all of these side hustles. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help out my YouTube channel and I'm so, so thankful for you. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so please subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.